So, uh, it all started back when our other roommate left. So I'm walking into the kitchen one morning and I'm a little hungover and I see this note on the counter and it says, and you know, as soon as I read the letter, I was pretty devastated. He was terrible. You know, come to think of it, pretty much the worst actor on the planet. So we were all pretty devastated to hear the news. Uh, we smoked a bowl right then and there to calm our nerves. I felt like I needed to say something. Suddenly Richard says, I have a proclamation to make. I'm gonna make a movie. I'm gonna make a movie even if I have to sell my soul to Satan to do it. And then night came. And uh, you know, when it happened, I was in the living room. Pedro and I were on the other side of the house. I was speechless, shocked terrified, and completely blazed. I mean, what could we do? This was biblical. Yeah, and there's this little flickering light, and then all of a sudden, a gigantic fire tornado appears in the intersection right outside our house. In the center of this whirling fire hurricane, this giant beast just emerges, and when we couldn't see it anymore, we heard these knocks. Boom. And then Richard comes busting down the stairs, and I think to myself, you fucking idiot. So I rush down the stairs, I get to our like atrium, and the mail is all blowing around. It's like all over the place. And at this point, Pedro and I are debating jumping out the window. Not to save Richard or anything heroic like that. No, it's uh, it's because we always knew if we're gonna die as a group. And I go up to the door and I open the door. It would be Richard's fault. And it was a giant seven foot tall beast with long hair, blue eyes. So I said, fuck it, and I let him in. And he did, he let me inside. I, I don't know why. And then there were the first few weeks. First few weeks were uh, difficult. A lot, lot of settling in with each other to do. You know, he really didn't do anything, like at all. I first met Satan after he'd been here for a couple of days. I was on a family cruise that my parents paid for. Um, so, no, no one asked me about it. I was not consulted. They had told me about their problem. So I looked at him right then and there and I said, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You will have a career in making movies. You sign this. And uh, I agreed first and you know, after that, everyone seemed pretty okay with it, and they all agreed. It was sort of like a one-by-one one thing. Once everything was signed, I mean, things just started to appear everywhere. It was like Christmas at the Lindbergh's. It really seemed like it was gonna only be a matter of time before the pot boiled over. Come on, Brayden, let's go. Hey, Trevor. It's Pat Lowe time. Satan, we really need to talk to you well, about... Can you wait till the end of my TV show? It's almost over. Okay. No, not okay. All right, what the hell is that? Satan, we really need to talk to you about something. What? Hey, are, are you rolling? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Oh, uh, that, that, that's Chuck. He's cool. Don't worry about him. But, but what are you doing? Why did you turn the TV off? You're here for a reason, Satan. Mm. You made a deal with us. And you haven't done anything. Well, no, he's right. You've been here for two weeks now, and so far all you've done is watch TV and do touristy things. Well, excuse me, but... Oh, you think just because I'm Satan I can just do things? I need inspiration! I'm a tortured soul! You don't have a soul, Satan! Wait! Ray Romano is your inspiration? Ray Romano is an inspiration to us all. You have to do something, Satan. Yeah, you made a deal with us, and that deal explicitly stated that you were going okay, to- Okay, okay. Fine. I'll pick some of this up, and I'll start working on your movie. Thank you. Can you pick up some of the trash while you're at it? Any of it, because it's all yours. Fine, I'll pick up the trash. You need to grow up, Satan. I don't know how they do things where you're from, but this is not how we do things around here, okay? This is disgusting. It's inappropriate and, and offensive. As beings who live in this world, this is offensive. You live like a pig, Satan. You need to clean up your garbage and do 
your goddamn dishes every once in a while. So no one's seen Brayden for a while. And it was then that I realized that Trevor, Richard, and Pedro were right. I'm not on sabbatical to binge watch the entirety of Dennis Quaid's acting career. I'm here because I'm better than Dennis Quaid. I'm here because I want to be famous. Met up with a buddy of mine. Contact, kind of a big deal. He gave me the skinny on the viz. What? What's with the camera? Oh, that, that, that's that's just my crew. Don't don't worry about them. Uh, okay. So uh, you said you're here for a meeting? I am with some cast directors, like a full table of them. So it's gonna oh, be nice. Oh, how did you get that? Oh, I paid eight fifty. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? I have a meeting. You have a meeting? Do you have any pointers or...? Pointers? Yeah, you know, like like advice for my meeting. Okay. Who do you know from the office? Uh, do you know anyone who works there? Any cast directors that work with the agency? Well, what's a... What's a casting director? What's a casting director? Okay. Okay. All right, first. That's something you should Google. Um, you should know that. Yeah. Let's see. Instagram, Twitter, it's a big thing now. That's the first thing they're gonna ask you. You should have like 22,000 followers, so be prepared for that. Wow. I mean, there's so much contacting and... You're gonna be fine. Yeah. You got this. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Just breathe. I'm gonna be fine. I'm, it's yeah, gonna, I'm be gonna good. breathe. I'll, I'll be okay. I'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm sure uh, I'm on yeah, deck or something. Yeah, no, so. okay. oh, of course, of course. And then don't let me see you again. You know? Fuck! The hell is a follower? On Twitter? Is that like a, is that like a disciple or something? despair that I realized. Stand-up comedy. And once I cracked the code, I started working on material right away. Welcome to my five minutes. I hope you really, really like these five minutes. Don't say I really, really hope you like these five minutes. Really good material. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. You're going to hell. So, we owed rent. Satan, we gotta talk. What is it now? Well, Satan, it's the 23rd. Okay, human calendar stuff. Okay, okay, we, we going to Stonehenge, Coachella Hackman. What, what's what? going on? The first is in a week and a half. So, rent? We're talking about rent. You have to pay rent, Satan. We have to come up with $2,000 in a week and a half. Oh. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. What? Why not? I only deal in souls. I don't make money. Look, I can't have You some gotta love. make some, okay? Because I can't. My credit card overdrafted because some acting workshop thing charged me for something that I didn't even buy. But what actually matters is I haven't been able to afford pot in like three days. I've just been sniffing glue. Also, you keep stealing stuff. And also, when are we gonna make the fucking movie that you promised okay, us? Okay, okay! I'll get a job! I'm saying in New York City, it couldn't be that hard anyway.
Hey, hey, rent money, rent, rent money. Well, you, you can't all go inside the thing, so you guys have to stay out here. Hello, hello. Anybody? Anybody at all? Comedy show tickets. You want to see a comedy show? No. Where are you going? Sorry, Satan. Please let me down, Satan, please. Satan needs rent money. You could give Satan rent money. Rent money for Satan. It's expensive. Wait, okay. Rent money? Rent money. Rent money. Need rent money. It's expensive in New York. What's your comedy show? Comedy show, Jimmy. Hi, uh, I'm I'm here for the, the job, the job. You want job? No, 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 no. That, that's just my my crew. Don't, don't worry about them. Um, you just me, me job. Come. Yep. No camera. So I got the job, pretty sure it's a front, positive it's a front, but it gives me time to work on my stand-up, and that's what I care about. All right, everybody make some noise for performer number one coming to the stage as he unveils himself. Iscariot was supposed to open for me, but I guess he's just hanging around somewhere. <laughs> okay, all right, but before I start, I just, uh, you know, you, you are humans, and I just wanted to take this time to clarify some things you don't give me enough credit for. So, so if you will, you know, but, but for the comedy, actually. <laughs> the TV show Celebrity Lip Sync Battle. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the first two, and only the first two, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, that, that was me, that was me. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, actually, I, I'm sorry about that one, I, I'm sorry for Dave Matthews Band. Uh, and, and that TV show where J-Lo played a cop, I'm also really sorry about that one. Uh, the fact that Sonny died and not Cher, pretty sorry. Um, but Bill de Blasio, though, you're goddamn welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, bongo poetry. Roses are red. Violets are blue. You already sold your soul when you went to NYU. All right, this is my last poem, and this is called What Do These Things Have in Common? Socialist, capitalist, feminist, misogynist, you're going to hell. All right, thank you very much, thank you very much. Uh, I, I just want to say before I leave, uh, I can't say anything, but God did pick favorites. And uh, if you're watching Satan do stand-up in Manhattan, you're probably not on the list. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Follow me on Twitter at really certain now. Thank you very much.
first stand up uh, didn't go well. The Hillary Clinton campaign did better than my first stand up. Satan! Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Satan, it's Friday night. We're going out again. You coming with? You know what, guys? I. I think I'm good. Oh, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch TV. You, you guys have fun, though. No. Oh, okay. Hey, can you get the light? Yeah, so I've been working here for about three weeks now. Um, it, it's it's a nice job. But I haven't been fired yet. So I, I think I'm doing something good here. Are you gonna be heading back anytime soon? Think it, oh, no. No, 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 no. I, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna stay on sabbatical, keep going with the flow, you know. I've actually I've got a one man show that I've been working on and I'm very, very excited about it. But in the meantime I I think I'm just gonna stay here for a little while, you know? I, I'm I'm happy here. So I, I think I'm just gonna just gonna keep going with the flow, ride the wave. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great.